Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It. I post my Will I Buy It videos every single Wednesday where I'm talking over some new makeup releases and just chatting if I'm planning to pick them up or if they do not have my interest. So I think we have a ton to chat about this week. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Well, first up, I have something so exciting. This news made me so freaking happy. My friend here on YouTube, Angelica, she actually got to do a collaboration with Sigma Beauty and put together like her favorite brushes set from Sigma. I was so excited. I saw the video pop up on my YouTube feed and it said like my collaboration with Sigma Beauty and I was like no freaking way and I clicked so fast and I was so excited. I have collabed here with Angelica on the past. I've put her in my newsletter in the past. I chat about her all the time. I think I was just talking about her in my Indie Brands video about Davina Cosmetics and I was just so freaking happy and excited to see this. So she released a brush collab with Sigma and she put together five of her favorite brushes. So it's her favorite brush set. It's $65, it's an $82 value. And the brushes inside are the E20 short shader, the E25 blending brush, the E36 blending brush, the E45 small tapered blending brush, and the FL3 high cheekbone highlighter brush. And I just thought this was so cool. I love all of the brushes. I've tried all the brushes. I think I own all of the, br I, I own a lot of Sigma brushes. Uh, I think I own all of them in there and I thought her choices were so perfect and I just, this was so freaking cool to see. I, of course, will have the link listed down below and, you know, am I gonna buy this? You know, Angelica is my friend and I'm super excited for it. I love Sigma Beauty. The majority of my brush collection is Sigma brushes. So like, no, I have no interest in those. I'm just kidding. I already bought it. I already bought it. It's already been shipped. I don't have it yet, but I've already got the shipping confirmation. I ordered it on the day that it came out because I was just so freaking excited to see this. So if you guys have not seen the news yet or if you haven't placed your order yet, of course that link will be listed down below. Um, there is a lot of Sigma affiliate codes. Like I have one, Angelica has one. There's a lot of influencers that do have codes for like the 10% off. This particular set is not eligible for a code, but if you were to place an order with anything else from Sigma, like you place one order, you get this brush set and maybe you get a couple other brushes or some of their makeup items, a code can be applied to all of those items it's just not the brushes but you can still do it in one order if that makes sense I believe that's what Angelica was saying it's totally okay because you're already getting a discount I think she said the discount in there like if you were to buy all the brushes separately as compared to the set it's a 20% off discount anyways so I just thought that was really cool I definitely wanted to make sure to mention it because that's just freaking awesome I'm so excited for Angelica I can't wait to get my brushes they're supposed to be here soon and they have like you know her photo and everything and her signature on the box and I'm just so so proud of my friend a huge congratulations to Angelica make sure you go check that out already you guys know that I have a fond love of minis whether it comes makeup skincare I love when companies put out minis and I was getting a lot of tags on a new product from Natasha Denona it is their blush and glow compact but in a mini so inside you have the all over glow shimmer powder in number one and then also the blush from the blush duo palette number 14 i'm reading from the trend mood website her page will be listed down below as normal so it's going to be 19 dollars. now it does definitely look very teeny tiny like from the picture like the person holding it it definitely looks pretty small but at the same time like it doesn't look like minuscule like i can't do anything with it like you're gonna put your brush in once and like hit pan or something like you know you know those like minis that you would get in like the ipsy bags and you're like what is do do i even have a product here what is this it doesn't look like it's gonna be that small and it's only 19 dollars, which <laughs> i don't think that was bad for natasha denota because her prices are so freaking expensive i'm pretty interested in this one because for whatever reason i remember the blush and glow like got my attention but i think that one was just like just exorbitantly expensive. I was like, there's no way you can do it. And I like that that's only the two shades. I feel like I would use them more than, you know, buying a big old compact with multiple shades and not using all of them in there. And again, 19 bucks, like, I'm pretty interested in that one. What do you guys think? Have you, does it say when it's on sale yet? Online at Sephora. Perfect. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys have picked that one up. I think it looks pretty interesting. Okay. Next up, I have a new palette here from Juvia's Place. So this is the Warrior palette. It's gonna be $21 and it has nine different shades. So, I mean, like the inside of the palette, it looks like the other Juvia's Place palettes. I own quite a few of them now and I think that they're great quality. I think Juvia's Place has really fantastic eyeshadow quality 
in all of their palettes that I have tried. I've been very impressed with them. This palette, I feel like a lot of people got caught off guard with it because it is definitely more neutral. And, and Juvia's Place is kind of known for their very colorful palettes. Like, a big reason why I didn't purchase from Juvia's for a very long time was because I was very intimidated by the shades inside. Because not only are they colorful, but in a lot of the palettes, I don't get the color scheme. You know, like, I don't have that mind that I'm like, this is what I'm going to do with this palette. I look at that palette and I'm like, what can I possibly do with these colors inside? How do I make them all work together? So I was always very intimidated by Juvia's Plays. So I actually think it's pretty smart that they're coming out with this palette because I think a lot of people are probably like me as well. Um, you know, of course, there's so many people who love the colorful palettes and the colorful shades and they're so excited for it. But Juvia's Place doesn't have a lot of those palettes, so I actually thought it was pretty smart for them to release something like this, and it has me pretty excited. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up too. I mean, it's definitely, it's very neutral, and of course I probably have a lot of shades like this in my collection, but I'm just so excited. I feel like they're... I don't know. I just feel like this was a pretty solid release from Juvia's Place. The packaging, the front of the cover, I mean everything, the front of the cover, my book is going to release in a couple of weeks, so that's, that's where my mind is focused, if you can tell. The front of the palette, um, it looks absolutely beautiful, and I'm just really feeling on the shades that are inside. $21, I think that's a great price as well, and I think that you're getting quality shadows with Juvia's Place all around. So I think this is pretty cool. I think this would be a great addition. So like I said, I have a lot of Juvia's eyeshadow palettes. They're blush palettes as well. I think this would be a fantastic addition. There's some of my Juvia's palettes. I feel like I can't do like a full look with some of the palettes. Like I'm always kind of, not always, but sometimes I'm grabbing another palette to finish off a look because I want like that light brown or, you know, a deeper brown and I don't have it in some of my palettes and I think it would be cool to be able to come into this one. That way I could do like a full Juvia's Place eye because those are the things that make me happy. But I think that one looks pretty cool. I'm definitely interested in that one. Elf Cosmetics is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. This is the Rose Gold Sunset Palette. It's $10 for 10 different shades. There are both matte and shimmers. You know, it's definitely got like those sunset sunset vibes in there. I'll be including pictures, of course. Uh, I'm not going to get this one. I have realized that e.l.f. eyeshadows don't, don't get along with my eyes, unfortunately. Um, I tried like their... Um, Oh, I can always, I can never remember what it was called. It, had, it was like nude blush or something like that. Um, or rose gold blush. I don't remember. But I tried one of their palettes a while ago and I had such an extreme reaction on my eyes. It was horrible. I couldn't wear eye makeup for two days. I mean, are you kidding me? Um, but no, I had such a terrible reaction. And then I tried a different e.l.f. palette. I tried the Mad for Matte 2 palette. I think it's called like the Summer Breeze. And I had a reaction again. So... I can't wear e.l.f. eyeshadows. I don't know what it is, but it makes me very sad because at least the Mad For Matte 2 I thought was really good. The first one that I tried I did not think was very good. The Mad For Matte 2 I actually thought was a really solid palette. Um, $10 for 10 shades. I don't think that's a bad price at all, but for me personally, there's something in that formula that does not get along well with my eyes. Um, I will say that the the colors inside are definitely pretty, but it's you know it's definitely a palette that's been done a lot and all of that. And sometimes you just have to find the ones like the Juvia's Place. Like I know that's been done, but there's certain reasons that pull me towards it. Whereas this Elf one, I mean, the biggest reason is because I wouldn't be able to wear it on my eyes, so why purchase it? But there's some things that you're like, I know that's been done, and I just don't have any interest in it. And that's kind of how I feel about the Elf one. Also, got announced that Lady Gaga is coming out with a cosmetic line. Cause why not? That's what everybody's doing right now. Okay, I don't think we really have a lot to go off of right now. It just says she's coming out with her own cosmetics line called House Beauty, H-A-U-S Beauty. Uh, it says there's going to be foundations, eyeliner, shadows, pencils, bronzers, highlighters, cheek colors, brow products. I mean, there's going to be like everything in here. Hand cream, nail polish, a product called Beauty Milks, perfume, body gel. I mean, it's like a whole shebang, which is quite crazy. Um, you know, for a brand new line to drop all of that under the sun. I mean, that's pretty intense. I'll definitely be curious of what she's gonna come out with and what cause, what calls my attention and all of that. Um, but I was getting a lot of tags on it. I mean, I don't really have much to go off of yet. I do like Lady Gaga. I think that she's pretty cool. I've been into her music for, I mean, I can remember back in college, the Poker Face song came out and that was pretty fun. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, her, I feel like if we don't get something that's like super creative and just like kind of out there with her products, I would be really surprised because that's just kind of what we've come to expect from Lady Gaga. I know there's definitely times that she's tamed it down quite a bit, but I still like when I think Lady Gaga, like I think over the top music videos, the meat dress, <laughs> I mean, I think of all these different crazy things. So that's kind of what I'm expecting from her line, but I'll be curious to see what it is and and all that fun stuff. Becca Cosmetics is coming out with a new highlighter. This is called the Becca Royal Glow. It says it's going to be 30 euros and it's available exclusively online at John Lewis Retail, which I'm not familiar with. Um, so that's interesting. Um, oh, it does say it's coming soon to Beauty Beautylish as well. Okay. Okay, because I'm not sh I'm not familiar with John Lewis Retail, but uh, Beautylish I am familiar with. This looks super cute. I don't know who who else is excited for the royal wedding. I feel like sometimes when you bring up the royals, like some people are like, I love the royals and I'm so obsessed, and other people are like, the royals are stupid and you should not follow them or like them. <laughs> so it's like kind of one of those topics that I don't really like to throw out there. But for me personally, I mean, I do live in the United States, but it just seems like there's a lot of people over here that have like this deep fascination with the Royals and uh, I'm definitely one of them who is watching the Royal Wedding. I'm pretty excited for it, not gonna lie. Um, so I, I think this is really cute. I think it's a very, I don't know, I, I don't know if it has anything to do with like the Royals being in the news lately with the new baby and now the wedding, but I feel like the timing of it is fantastic and all of that. Uh, it looks really beautiful. <sighs> and I like, I kind of want it just because of the packaging, but Becca highlights are, you know, $38, which is super expensive. And it's like, should you get something for that? I have a lot of Becca highlights as it is. I'm going to try to stay strong and say no to this one, but I don't know. My resolve might weaken, might weaken just a little bit. I also did place my first Beautylish order. I'll have a haul video coming up in just a couple days here, but I was so impressed with Beautylish, just how fast my order came, how cute everything was like wrapped and packaged in there. Like it makes Sephora look so incredibly shameful that, you know, when you ship from Sephora, you get your, your products with like that brown crinkly paper thrown on top. And as far as like, hope nothing broke. And Beautylish like wraps everything, like puts ribbons on it and stuff. I'm like, geez, what is this? So I don't know, you know, maybe if I'm gonna like order something from Beautylish and all of a sudden I'm, I hear a whisper of like, buy me. Like maybe I'll get it. I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. Another new product. Um, this is pretty interesting. So Kale Polish is launching an almond hand cream. It's going to be $12. Kale Polish was a nail polish brand that was started by Kathleen Lights, who is a YouTuber. And so far they've only put out nail polishes. And so they have a new product. So that's kind of interesting. So the hand cream is going to be $12 and it'll be available on May 15th. I believe you can just get kale polish on the kale polish website. Uh, I will say a hand cream is not something that interests me. I, I don't even know the last time I bought a hand cream. Like if I get like little minis in anything like that just excites me enough and I'm good with that. I just very rarely use them, um, especially I need them more in the winter time when I'm super dry and like my skin is flaking off. But as we approach the warmer months, like a hand cream is like the last thing that I feel like I need. And a lot of times if I do feel like my hands need a little bit of moisture, I typically just grab like the body lotion that I use once I get out of the shower and I'm good with it. So this isn't really a product that I feel like I need or I have a lot of interest in, but uh, you know, let us know if you're planning to pick that up. I know a lot of people really enjoy their hand creams. Uh, another new product here is from Glossier. So they just launched their first mascara. This is the Lash Slick. It says it curls and sculpts as it lengthens, enhancing the look of your natural lashes instead of clumping them together. It says teeny tiny fibers coat lashes from root to tip to create lengthened baby extension. While flexible film forming polymers lift and lock each fiber into place. Okay. It says it's water resistant but not waterproof so it'll wash off easily. Um, so what was the price on this? Did it tell me? Oh, I'm not sure the price. It doesn't say it on here. Okay, but it does say it's available now. Well, let's just go ahead to the Glossier website. I think is it. I think it's just Glossier website that sells their products. So okay, so this is very strange. I just googled Glossier mascara to find the price of it, and the very first things that are popping up is if you order Glossier's mascara, you might be getting a refund. Glossier refunds customers for mascara it claimed was vegan. 
It says the mascara was labeled as vegan due to the fact it was made with vegan biotin. Sorry, I'm totally getting off on this, but I didn't know getting off on a tangent, not gonna, you know what I mean. Okay. Oh, so it has beeswax in it, which means that it's not vegan. So a lot of people are apparently are not, uh-oh. It says, this is from Glossier. It says, unfortunately, this morning, we unfortunately made a copy mistake in labeling this mascara as vegan and are writing to let you know that Lash Slick is actually not vegan. 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 So it's a $16 mascara. Um, that price doesn't freak me out. I probably will not be getting this one though because I don't purchase a lot from the Glossier, like not just the Glossier website, but I, you know, I have my, I typically purchase from Sephora and Ulta, now Beautylish is going to be right up there and all that fun stuff. Um, if I was going to be purchasing other items from Glossier, like maybe I would sneak this one into my bag, but I actually want to still purchase that Milk Makeup, the Kush Mascara. I'm kind of more interested in that one right now. I watched Kathleen Light's review of it and she seemed that she liked it as well. So I think if I'm going to be purchasing a mascara, which I don't purchase just mascaras a lot because I wear false lashes a ton. Uh, I would go for that over this one from Glossier, but um, okay, well that was interesting to learn. I didn't know that there was a bit of a scandal behind that, but that's a bummer. Getting quite a few tags on a new palette from Makeup Revolution in collaboration with Makeup by Tammy. This is the Tropical Paradise palette. It has 23 shades and matte and shimmer and it is going to be $15. That's a pretty freaking phenomenal price. The swatches look really pretty. I can't say I'm familiar with Makeup by Tammy, but that's okay. Let us know in the comments if you absolutely love her. She's one of your favorites. Um, the palette looks cool. Like, I mean, it looks cool and interesting and all that. There's a lot of different shades in here, but it doesn't give me a pull. Um, you know, Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty, I think they were going through a bit of a rebranding. I'm not, they're not a brand that I have a ton from or that I've tried a ton from. Um, I really do like their highlights, like their baked vivid highlights or something like that. I really do like those, but other than that, I don't have a ton from the brand. And I, I think for this palette, it just didn't pull me enough to be able to consider purchasing it. Um, I do think it looks pretty and obviously it's very affordable. Um, I just don't think it's going to be for me personally. Um, but let us know if you were super excited about that and you're planning to pick it up. There's a new skincare item. I got a ton of tags on this one as well because it's from Ula Hendrickson, one of my favorite brands. Okay, so it says they're coming out with a new face mask. This is the Cold Plunge, a pore mask inspired by the Cold Plunge part of a sauna cycle in Scandinavia. Whoa. This cooling mask deeply purifies and diminishes pores with an exhilarating chill. One of my favorite products from Ula Hendrickson is the, the Pore Sauna Facial Scrub. It's in my shower right now. I had a mini purchase a full size. I love it. And it's really cool because it goes on hot but washes off cold. I'm very interested in this one, especially if it's supposed to be good for your pores because I have some pretty big pores here on my chin. Or on my chin. On my cheek. Hello. Help me. Okay. Um, I'm pretty interested in this one. It says it's $36 and it has three ounces of product. It's supposed to instantly reduce the appearance of pores. It's also supposed to reduce oil for up to eight hours. So if you're oily, that could be good. It's supposed to even skin texture and detoxify and purify the skin. Uh, it should be available May 17th on their website and in Sephora and Sephora and then in stores June 1st. I'll probably pick this up to try it. I mean, when, once I find a brand that I am super loyal to, especially when it comes to skincare, like I... I just want like all their products and this sounds like something I would really like, especially because of that pore, like the pore minimizing. Mm. Okay, I told you, we have so much to get through this week. It is crazy. Okay, so Huda Beauty is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette-ish. This is the Rose, Rose Gold Remastered Palette. It says on Treadmood, she was gone, but not for long. So it's the Rose Gold Palette. It's back, but it has a new formula. Um, and the, the packaging now includes a mirror. So the original rose gold, it didn't have a mirror. And I know a lot of people were quite upset about that. So it looks like they gave the packaging a boost. And they also, you know, reformulate it. Um, and it will be available May 22nd. I think that's pretty... I think that's smart and good. I'm kind of getting a vibe from Trend Mood that people aren't very excited about it. They're kind of like frustrated by it. But I feel like when it came to that palette and her other big palette, a lot of people were not super like wowed by the formula but a lot of people liked the colors and stuff. So I think it's kind of cool. I don't know. I think it's a good thing that she apparently was listening and redid the formulas and put a mirror on it because I know a lot of people, because I think it was like a $65 palette, which I couldn't find the price on this one, but I'm assuming maybe it's going to be around that or maybe a little higher if it's supposed to be better. 
Um, but I think that's nice that the brand listened and took that. I know some people are like, oh, I'm bored and this palette was already out. But maybe if you were like me, I ended up not getting that palette because I was starting to hear the reviews and people saying it's not worth it, it's not worth the price tag. You know, now maybe if it's supposed to be better, more people would be interested in picking it up. I, I don't hate the idea. I'm still not going to purchase it myself, especially if it's in the $60 range. And honestly, it, I mean, that's just kind of expensive. I do love these tones for sure, but I love the Huda Mini palettes. Like, I, I'm fine with those. Truly, I'm fine with those. I still want to pick up the Coral one. I have three other ones, and I'm super happy with those. I kind of like more condensed palettes like that. I, I just feel like it's easier for me with my non-creative mind. I know kind of what I'm going to do when I reach into these little palettes. I think it's perfect. They're great for travel, and, you know, this palette is quite large and all of that. And it's kind of overwhelming looking at all the different shades and what I would create, but I think it's cool that, you know, they listened to the feedback and, and created something that hopefully is going to be a little bit better, but it's still not going to be enough for me to purchase it, if that makes sense. And then Dose of Colors is coming out with some new, with a new product. These are called um, the Block Party. So it's a new eyeshadow collection and there's going to be 20 different singles and they're each $20. It's going to be available May 19th on their website. Dose of Colors is also available at Ulta, but I'm not sure for sure if they will be coming into Ulta. So these look really interesting, but right off the bat, I'm like $20 for a single eyeshadow is pretty darn expensive. For me, I would rather buy a palette. You know, I can buy those Huda palettes that have nine shades, right? Nine shades. And it's $27. You know, and also with Dose of Colors, I purchased one of their Ideal Duos once, which I think was like $24 or $25, and it had like a loose pigment on top and then kind of like your kind of like base on the bottom, and I actually really didn't like it, and that was kind of a waste of money for me. So when I see this, like my mind kind of went to that, and I, I don't know, it just boils down to $20 for a single shade. They look really cool. Honestly, there's quite a bit of like neutrals in there. There's not as many like colorful shadows as maybe I would have expected to see for single shadows. You know, I know not a lot of people put together full colorful palettes but for singles I don't know I kind of maybe thought there would be more um it's more definitely more neutral based but I just would not be able to justify the $20 for it so I'm going to be passing over these but would love to know if you guys are interested in this one and you're super excited for these okay I feel like I'm talking super fast but we still have so many, we still have products to get through what is going on here so many new releases I also got a lot of tags on this new one, um, new product from Mark Beauty. It's the gloss stick. It's a gloss that it is in a bullet and it's a soft, solid stick. It says it'll be available May 31st on their website and online at Sephora, Neiman Marcus, um, and then it's also gonna be coming into stores in June. I don't see a price on it right now. I'm sure it's gonna be expensive because most Mark lip products, Mark Beauty lip products are in the $30 range. I have to say I'm curious. I'm curious about it. I think this is going to be something that I would like to see reviews on be just because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like figure out what it is in my mind and I'm assuming it's going to go on your lips glossy but like I'm not 100%. I would like to see reviews of it first especially because it will probably be more expensive but Marc Jacobs Beauty has some of my favorite lip products and I know that they are more expensive but so I mean from the high enamored glosses, the Lamarck uh, lip cremes, the liquid lip cremes. I'm fans of all of them, so I don't know. Uh, this is one, I'm gonna wait on the reviews for it, but if people start saying that it's really good, honestly, I would probably buy it. This is crazy, There's. I feel like this week is just like, oh, wild, okay. Okay, Tarte Cosmetics has a new collaboration release, so this is with Aspen Ovard, and it is a eye and cheek palette. So it's going to be $39. I believe it is available now. So I will have it linked down below. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm not super familiar with Aspen Ovard. I am a little bit with her collabs that she did with Pixie Beauty. I think this palette from from what I gather from her is a very her palette, which you would expect with a collaboration. Um, but for me, it's just going to be a little bit too on the the plain side for me. I try not to use the word boring because I feel like that can get a little bit offensive, but it is a little plain for me. Looking at it, I I can recall, you know, several 
palettes that I feel like would have the same eye shades in there. I do like that it has the face shades as well, and I like palettes like that a lot. I like eye and face palettes, um, but it's just not going to be enough to intrigue me. The packaging is super pretty on it, um, and I'm also, I'm still not buying from Tarte at the moment. Um, they're just... I don't know. I'm just not really feeling some of the vibes that they are putting out. But and the final, final item that we're going to be talking about is some new releases from Fenty Beauty. So their Beach Please is their summer 2018 collection. So they have kilowatt foil freestyle duos to be used on the eyes, cheeks, and lips. And they also have Summer Days Iridescent Lip Luminizer Trio. There's three in each set. And there's also the Island Bling 2-in-1 Liquid Eye Shimmer, which are liquid eyeshadows. I think it says that everything is going to be limited edition from what I can tell. It's all going to be available May 21st at Sephora. I don't see prices on this trend mood post. Um, if I see it by the time I put this video up, I'll go ahead and leave them linked down below. Um, the liquid eyeshadows, I'm not interested in. I'm just not interested in that style Oh, that formula of eyeshadows unless we're talking about the steely glitters because then I am I have the new one on my eyes today And I think it's so beautiful uh, The iridescent lip luminizer trio not really my vibe either. I would go ahead and pass over them but the kilowatt foil freestyle duos I am very curious about especially the shade Mimosa sunrise slash sangria sunset. It's the gold and it looks like a purple pink I'll try to insert a photo of just that one here. I am very curious about this one. I think it looks super beautiful. I think it looks so fun for the summer. And this has my attention pretty darn hard. I think there's three different, yeah, there's there's three different ones. And honestly, I think, I think it's just that one that's really calling my attention. I think I kind of want to try that one out. So what do you guys think about Fenty's new summer collection? Um, you know, they have some of the products that that's already released, you know, like the body glow that everyone's using um, and, you know, that fun stuff. But that duo there, I think just on the eyes, I think I would use it on my eyes. I know it says you can use it on your cheeks and your lips as well. I'm picturing it for eyeshadow and I think it would be super beautiful. So that's what I'm interested in from the Fenty summer 2018 collection. I would love to know what you are interested in and then after that that's gonna do it for this week's will i buy it video <laughs> okay so that is everything for this week's will i buy it video we had a ton to chat about this week everything will be listed and linked down below if it is for sale currently let me know what you thought about all the products that i mentioned and what you're interested in and what you're passing over make sure to tag me on anything that you want to see in next week's will i buy it video as well i feel like there's a lot of things i was super interested in this week so we will have to see what i decide to pick up for myself Hmm. But other than that, if you guys enjoyed today's video or you found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.